According to a National Geographic survey, 77% of all Americans believe there are signs that aliens have visited Earth. But despite this consensus, our governments have yet to acknowledge what many believe to be the truth behind extraterrestrials. Is disclosure just around the corner, as some believe, or has the UFO phenomenon always been a fabrication of the human mind? If you ask me, do I believe there's life in a universe that is so vast that it's hard for me to comprehend how big it is? My personal answer is yes. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. My gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Look at that thing, dude. These sightings are not rare or isolated. They are routine. Military aircrew and commercial pilots, trained observers whose lives depend on accurate identification, are frequently witnessing these phenomena. The evidence has been mounting that our governments indeed know more than they are telling. In recent years, a growing number of credible scientists and investigative researchers have been lobbying for the truth to be told. Today, all you have to do is Google UFOs on, uh, and look at the images, and you can't take a picture of an hallucination. Or, or a psychosis, so they're real. So the question now is, what is the alien agenda? What it really would take would be a Woodward and Bernstein who blew, uh, blew the lid off the uh, political water gate to blow the lid off the cosmic water gate. The data's there. Quote General Bolander, show the uh, NSA and CIA documents. You can't deny their reality. My research and the evidence and the scientific evaluation of that evidence has convinced me that this case is real and that it was being covered up by the government and by a small group of debunkers who wanted to make Betty and Barney look like kooks. Uh, we, we're facing the potential for a massive renaissance in science and political reform and none of that can happen because the governments of the world will not yet even acknowledge the existence of the ETs. Hearing on Tuesday, the FANI, the Spanish acronym for what are usually now termed unidentified anomalous phenomena, the UAP. Politicians were shown two artifacts that you can see on your screens as well that Mexican journalist and longtime UFO enthusiast Jamie Mawson uh, claimed were the corpses of extraterrestrials. The specimens were not related to any life on Earth, is what Mawson said. Now, the two tiny bodies displayed in the cases have three fingers on each hand and an elongated head. Mossan said they were recovered in Peru near the ancient Nasa lines in 2017. He said that they were about 1,000 years old, analyzed through a carbon dating process by Mexico's National Autonomous University. Similar such findings in the past have turned out to be the remains of mummified children. Now, well, Mossan said it was the first time such evidence had been presented. The NASA independent study team did not find any evidence that UAP have an extraterrestrial origin. But we don't know what these UAP are. Talaga yang kababalaghan, pananaliksik sa kapangyarihan ng isipan, pagpapakita ng mga nilalang, inyong matutunghayan sa Gabi ng Misteryo. Kasama si Ray Sibayan, tuwing Sabado, alas 10 ng gabi sa DCRH Radio, DCRH TV, at DCRH Online. Gabi ng Misteryo. Mga kamisteryo, nakapanood ko itong uh, press briefing ng uh, NASA and uh, mismo ang administrator nito si uh, Bill Nelson ay naglabas ng official statement about their uh, findings. So far, Parang para sa akin, walang, <laughs> may bago ba na sinabi nila na uh, walang evidence to prove na itong mga uh, UAP, Unidentified Area Phenomena, na kilala, mas kilala as Unidentified Flying Objects, ay extraterrestrial in origin. There's a global fascination with UAP. On my travels, one of the first questions I often get is about these sightings. And much of that fascination is due to the unknown nature of it. 
Think about it. Most UAP sightings result in very limited data. That makes it even more difficult to draw scientific conclusions about the nature of UAP. We, NASA, have taken for the first time concrete action to seriously look into UAP. And this independent study team is exactly that. It's independent. They work to develop recommendations about how NASA could better examine them from a scientific perspective. And the top takeaway from the study is that there is a lot more to learn. The NASA independent study team did not find any evidence that UAP have an extraterrestrial origin, but we don't know what these UAP are. Leo. So with that, with the, the conclusion or findings from or announcement from NASA, so uh, we presume uh, all of these uh, UAPs or unidentified aerial phenomena, which is uh, uh, known as uh, unidentified flying objects, are man-made, not extraterrestrial in origin. Kayo. Kayo ang maghumusga uh, tungkol dito eh. Sa tanong na kung pwede bang pagkatiwala ang pahayag ni NASA Administrator Bill Nelson tungkol sa mga pag-aaral sa UAP na pag pagtutuo ng panila ng pansin, ang sagot namin sa uf ufology circle ay hindi. Kasi base sa track record ng NASA sa nakalipas na tatlo o anim na dekada, may mga eyewitness testimony na nagsasabing inalter Pinotoshop yung mga tato ng sp mga space pictures, pati na mga lunar photos mula do sa, uh, sa Houston uh, mission control nila para itagos publiko ang impormasyon ng pagkakaroon ng mga sentient intelligent life na sa mga loob ng mga lumilipad ng mga UAP and unmanned aerial phenomena at pati na rin sa dati nito pangalan na unidentified flying object. Ngayon, may may at least tatlo kami, tatlong eyewitness testimony na makakapagpatunan nito. Una ay si Richard C. Hoagland ng EnterpriseMission.com Pangalawa ay si Donna Hare na isang kontratista ng NASA na nag, nagpoposesa ng mga lunar photos at mga space photos sila bago i-publish sa kanilang website at ang pangatlo ay si Corey Good na isang whistleblower mula sa allegedly na uh, pinangalan ng secret space program ng US government na kasali ang NASA at ito pang isa ang NASA ay hindi civilian entity kundi pati siya ng Department of Defense ng DOD ng US ibig sabihin siya ay isang militar na body na katulad siya ay maahari tulad mo sa mga katulad ng the, to the likes of CIA, NSA, DARPA, pati na rin ng Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, etc. pati na rin ng Space Force. So, military siya, may karapatan siyang mag-withhold ng information mula sa publiko. Uh, alam sa sarili ko na totoo sila. Dahil may mga kaibigan na rin akong uh, may kaalaman tungkol dito. At meron din akong isang kaibigan na siya mismo ay sinabi na isang EP uh, nung nakaraang buhay niya. Sana dalawin niya ako ng mga EP, makausap ko sila at magkaroon pa ako ng maraming kaalaman tungkol sa mga EP at mga UFO. Magandang gabi po sa lahat ng mga kamisteryo ni Ray Sibayan. Ito pong muli si Dr. Joe Belasano ng Moscow, Russia. Magkakaroon po muli tayo ngayon ng talakayan tungkol sa mga UFOs, extraterrestrial beings. Ito ba ay may katotohanan at bakit sila ay nagpapakita dito sa ating planet Earth? According to a National Geographic survey, 77% of all Americans believe there are signs that aliens have visited Earth. But despite this consensus, 
our governments have yet to acknowledge what many believe to be the truth behind extraterrestrials. The specimens were not related to any life on Earth, is what Mawson said. Now, the two tiny bodies displayed in the cases have three fingers on each hand and an elongated head. Mawson said they were recovered in Peru near the ancient Nasa lines in 2017. Talagayang kababalaghan, pananaliksik sa kapangyarihan ng isipan, pagpapakita ng mga nilalang, inyong matutunghayan sa Gabi ng Misteryo. Kasama si Ray Sibayan, tuwing Sabado, alas 10 ng gabi sa DCRH Radio, DCRH TV at DCRH Online. Gabi ng Misteryo.